What's up guys, Matt the Maths Hero here again with a brand new video and today we are looking at column addition, multi-digit column addition. We have videos coming every single week so make sure you like and subscribe to this channel but right now let's get into it. Okay, before we can do anything, what is a multi-digit? Well, a multi-digit is any number that's got more than one digit place. So one to nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are all single digit numbers. Anything above that, 10, 11, 12, all multi-digit. The number 19, double digit. We've got a one and a nine, a nine in our units, a one in our tens. If we look at a great big number, 25,423, that's a five digit number because we've got five digits going along our place value chart. Okay, so with that in mind, let's move on. Our first question, 333 and 651. Now we are gonna be perfect mathematicians today and we're gonna set our work out beautifully to avoid making any small mistakes. So the first thing we always do when looking at anything in column method, we always set out our work neatly. So let's do it. Units, tens and hundred, put our equals bar across, our add sign for good measure to remind ourselves we are adding today and we are good to go. Now, if any of you have watched any of my other videos, I think it's a great tip to bring this top bar down because we are gonna be using that column potentially, uh, sorry, that row potentially later. But wait, does it matter which way round we put these numbers in our question? If we add 333 to 621, do we get the same as adding 621 to 333? Let's pause a second and let's look at it in this scenario. If I have 11 add four, we get 15. I can represent it here with these images. If I switch these, switch these around and add four add 11, I still get 15. And that is because addition is commutative. It doesn't matter which way around we put our question, we are gonna get the same answer. Let's go back. Okay, so we are ready to begin. Where do we begin? Well, we always start at our smallest value. And in this case, we've got a three and a one in our units column. So we are gonna use our, ba our basic addition facts. And we're gonna simply add them up. 3, add 1 is 4, so we just drop it into our equals bar, 4, 4 units. Next, we've got 3 and a 2, 3 tens, adding to 2 tens, a 30 at a 20 gives us 5 tens. Okay, good, our, t our tens column complete. Last but not least, we go into our hundreds column, where we've got a 3, representing 300, and a 6, representing 600. Add the two together, we have 9 to complete our answer. Drag it up to the top. So 333 at 621 is 954. Easy, yes? Well, your observant ones will see a little green chili in the corner. This was a very mild question. Stage one, I like to call it, or a green chili challenge. Okay, so let's have a look now at a yellow chili challenge. Let's see how this can get a little bit harder, okay? Let's have a look at the number 434 at 881. Now, same thing, we're gonna lay out our columns exactly as we should, put all our things in place, our units, tens and hundreds, our addition sign, and our equals bar, okay? Perfect, we are looking good. Remember, let's drop that bar down so that it gives us that spare row. We're gonna see how we're gonna use it in this question, okay? Where do we start? Well, we know now we start in our units column. We always start in our smallest value whenever we're doing any form of column work, column work, addition, subtraction, multiplication, anything like that. We always start with our smallest value. So here we go. Let's start with our smallest value, our units. Adding four to one equals five. No, nothing difficult there. Same as stage one, same, same as our, our green chili challenge. Next question, three add eight. Okay, we have three and eight. Three add eight is 11. So, we have a difference here. If we were to put 11 straight into our answer bar, we would be taking the place of our hundreds already, and we haven't added our hundreds yet. So we need to think about what this all represents and what we're gonna do with this number. So we've got 11, 11 tens, or we could look at it as 110, as the answer to this bit of our question. So we're gonna use what we know of place value that we haven't yet added our hundreds yet, and we're gonna add this one into that column in that spare row waiting for our hundreds question, okay? Which means we're gonna add our one ten in our tens column in our answer section. But we haven't yet done our, our hundreds, so we're gonna put this hundred up there, okay, waiting. 
Now we can answer our 100s. I've got a 4, an 8, and a 1. Add them all together, it gives me 13. So again, it gives me a two digit answer. But Different again, we have no further question. We don't have a thousand column ready, so we can just put our full answer in there. Put the 13 straight into our answer. A one in our thousand, a three in our hundred, leaves us with a grand total of 1,315. The answer to 434 add 881 is 1,315. This is called regrouping or bridging, depending on where in the world you're from. It means the same thing, we are just moving our number digits into the next column when we need to. We understand that if we were to add an eight and a seven, we get 15, which is a 10 and a five. So we can move that 10 into the next column waiting for us, okay? So very straightforward, it just takes a little bit of thinking. If you are struggling with it and you think, whoa, this is brand new to me, I've never seen anything like this before, rewind the video, have a little look at this question one more time, okay, before we move on to our red chili challenge. Okay, red chili challenge. Now you might be thinking, Mr. Matt's hero, this looks easy, this looks just like a stage two question, but it's not. We have got different amounts of digits in our question. We've got 962, which is a three digit number, and we have got 89, which is a two digit number. Now I cannot tell you how many times I have seen this mistake where children or adults even put these in the wrong column. So we need to understand place value again. You are gonna get sick of me saying place value, but it is very, very important. So we need to understand what the value of these numbers are and where to put them. If I was to put my numbers over here and line them up like this, I have changed the whole value of our 89. And I have actually turned our number using our placeholder here to represent where we've left a gap, we've turned it into 890. We've completely changed the question, so we are going to obviously get the wrong answer. So, what does our number represent? 89 is eight tens, nine units. Let's just put it in like that. Nine units, eight tens, we know we're not gonna make any mistakes. Now we do have a gap here. We can put a placeholder or you can leave a gap. It's up to you if you know that that's a gap there or if you know that there's a zero representing that, it doesn't change the value, whichever you're more comfortable with is fine by me, okay? I'm gonna put this little half zero there so you can see it there or not there. Okay, let's start again. Same as before, we're gonna start our units column. Two add nine is 11. One unit, one ten, waiting for us for that next question. Tens column, a six and an eight, plus this one equals 15. Remember, five in our tens column, one now goes into our hundreds column. Looking at our hundreds column, I've got nine and a one. Nine and one equals 10, I've got no further questions to ask, so we just write the 10 straight in there. One zero, five one, 1051, okay? A few little differences there. We had two bridging or two groupings in a row, and we had this placeholder to consider. I'm not making a mistake by putting things in the wrong line. This is about as hard as it's gonna get, Red Chili Challenge. If you can do this, you can pretty much master column addition with multi-digit numbers, okay? And that's great. Right, if you are up for it, I have got a mega challenge here for you. This is a really hard question, and this is as hard as it could possibly get. Now, I've got three numbers here. That's a little bit different, but it's not harder. It just means we've got one extra uh, row to add up. Okay, so have a little go at that. If you need to, press pause. I'm gonna flash the answer up in five, four, three, three, two, one. Answer, okay. So, 4,211, add 901, add 591 equals 5,703. So I had to squint, I wrote that really small on the wall over there, I couldn't remember it. Okay, well done, if you got that right, you have mastered this lesson. Well done, very, very well done, and I'm proud of you all. Okay, so as always, I'm gonna tell you where your journey's gonna take you, where your learning journey's gonna take you, what is coming next, your next step. Okay, today we have been looking at whole numbers, a three-digit number adding to a two-digit number or another three-digit number, but they are whole numbers. Your next step, you're gonna be looking at decimals. So if, that, if you are there, if you've mastered this lesson and you wanna move straight onto that, check out our video, which is on our channel, or if you wanna master this a little bit, practice this video a couple of times, go through some practice questions before you feel like you're ready to move on. Our videos are up on our website, we are putting new videos up all the time, so please like and subscribe, it really helps us out guys, so I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, peace out, your math hero, gone!